G'day and welcome back. Faintly Saintly here. And this is another farm roguelike rebirth. As the title suggests, it's a farming roguelike with a, um, a few interesting concepts. I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I'm um, keen to have a quick look. Uh, first impressions from the title screen here. Uh, very Stardew Valley inspired graphics is what I'm picking up. Um, the difference being, I don't believe you have a player character. Everything you do is controlled with the cursor. So, similar to games like Luck Be a Landlord, I think the concept is that you have a week to farm, and then you've got to pay rent with what you've earned that week. And then you play the next week, your rent goes up exponentially, and your farm needs to grow and evolve to keep up with that. So I've had a quick look at the tutorial, so I have a rough idea of, of what to do, uh, but not with any real... Uh, competency so we'll, we'll check it out together so this is essentially a class or subclass selection you can choose farmer or merchant and each one has different subclasses like botanist with different perks like different crop values different energy levels the gardener has a, a perk for the flower value that sort of thing but just for the sake of this being the demo and my first real go at it I thought we'll just stick with the default and keep it nice and simple Okay, looks like we've got a few different uh, biomes around that you can unlock in time. I believe some of these may be locked also because it is the demo, but you can pay to unlock these usable areas in game as well. But I will start here obviously with the plane. Now up the top you'll see the slots that represent the days of the week before rent day on number seven. And in these slots we need to put our choice of three positive and three negative traits and these can be things like finishing a building gives five experience points tools cost negative one to cheaper tools basically uh, plus one dollar for every item sold which can be nice and the negative ones are less energy less experience items sell for their lowest value that sort of thing as well so if you want to be smart about it, you know, if you have a strategy set in place, you can say, you know what, I'm not going to sell anything on day one. I don't care if items have their lowest value on day one. So there's just things like that you can think about. So I might do that and sell items for more on the second last day. I might have, uh, you know what, I might have building requirements negative two on day one. So I get cheaper buildings. Um... What else can I do? Finishing a building gives five experience. I could put that day two. So I get cheaper buildings on day one. I won't finish them day one. I'll finish them day two and get some experience bonus. That sounds pretty good to me. So we've got our three positive. Let's look at some negative traits. Experience nine minus one. Negative five dollars for every point of energy spent. That sounds terrible. Tools don't get experience, I think is okay. Experience boost minus one is okay. At that point, not too fussed. Let's just get into it. All right, so when you start up, you're basically on your little island. It's basically a blank slate. Got some tools down here for working the land. We've got a hoe, axe, pickaxe, stone hammer, watering can, and fishing rod. All pretty much familiar stables if you've played any sort of farming game in the last... I don't know, 30 years. Uh, <laughs> but this time, you don't have a character walking around. You use them with your cursor as well. If I push escape, this is my inventory currently empty. You do have a shop where you can go and buy seeds for crops. You have a building tab, which shows you some things you can build, like a scarecrow. A furnace costs eight stone. Beehives. Fences, okay. Interesting. What are these upgrades? Clever hammer. Handyman, okay. And crafting for items and things. So glass jars, bottles, string, and fishing nets. Can unlock potions, can unlock food. Okay, upcoming. So maybe not available in the demo. So what do I want to do to start? I think I need to get my trusty pickaxe out. And I want to start chipping away at some of these ores and stones. 
like so. And you'll see as I use this, my energy bar goes down. The pickaxe did just get leveled up as well. And that means I might be able to upgrade it. Used to break stones, used to break stones. Okay, so copper pickaxe, it cost me, I guess, copper and wood, but it uses less energy. That's a nice upgrade. Fish pickaxe, used to break stones, gives two random fish. Max energy plus 10, that's awesome. So I need wood and two types of fish to upgrade my pickaxe to that level. That would be pretty cool. But not happening just yet. There we go. How much stone do I have here? 25. So what I could do if I wanted to build. Uh, where are we? Here. Can't afford another one. I'm going to get three uh, kilns, furnaces, sorry. Um... I'll start building them, but I won't finish building them until the next day, because that way I get my extra experience. And I might just try and get enough stone to get one more. Perfect. Start to chop. Oh, no, out of energy now. All right, day one down. I'll click this one to end my day. Then we'll look at day two. Okay, so this day my perk is finish a building to get five experience bonus. So I'll grab my hammer and I will finish these buildings. Okay, and on level up, I get my choice of a new perk. 25% of the breakable won't disappear after destruction. Okay, there must be some breakable things uh, that I can harvest or mine that won't disappear. The next time you level up, you will choose the perk three times or max energy plus 50. That actually sounds amazing. So does this actually, to be fair, but can't argue with energy. Pretty good. All right. Okay. And I just saw here, here's my experience 16 out of 75 for the next level. Very nice. So I have seven coal iron and copper so copper plus coal in the furnace equals a an ingot i suppose i've only got seven coal i think i did see that you can grab some wood where is it there wood plus coal in a furnace equals coal so i think that's a way to get more coal to just oh, okay i'm out of coal now but that'll help me to make sure i can smelt everything okay chop down some of these trees and bushes i want to make some room for either farming or mining whatever i can do can't finish off that stump what can I build? I can build a mine. I do need four. Is that iron bars? I don't think I'll get that. Oh, I could actually next turn. My name for that. All right. Here we go. Got some more coal. Gonna load up some more wood in these. There we go. And I believe that might be fish. Let's try and go fishing there we go very nice do I have enough for the upgrade no I need two of those goldfish I only got one maybe next turn grab the axe back out just keep chopping we can see up here I've got a hundred dollars I need to earn Two and a half thousand to complete the first week. Here we go, and I've leveled up. Harvesting crops charges counters by 4%. Picks plus one. $3,000 for leveling up. 
Okay, so next time I level up, I'll get a bonus of $3,000. That could be handy. Upon collection from a furnace, 20% of its maximum value is granted. So I'll just get a little cash bonus every time, do I? That could be good. So could this. I might grade this. And we'll just keep getting these trees cleared. There we go. More stone. And that's about it. All I can do. Don't really want to sell today. I'm a bit nervous that I'm three days in and I haven't done anything at all to earn money. Might be leaving my run a bit late. Didn't get another goldfish out of that. That's annoying. All right, I've got 46 coal now, so I think there should be no issues with me smelting. Uh, what am I going to build? I should have smelted the iron ore. Can I build a... No, I can't, unless... I chop these, or mine those, I should say. Can I afford it now? No. Shame. Didn't think that through. So what is that? That delays the iron by a turn, which means... I don't get a mine next turn. Which is concerning, considering I'm doing nothing else, but anyway. Okay, you can hoe the ground and prepare that for crops. Might be the way to go. Um, what is this? A bug. Worm. Fish, is it? Fish traps. Okay. Well, that's nice. Okay. But I can't pick up that bug. Why? And that turn there. Tools don't get experience. I can live with that. Give me a goldfish, please. No. Got some copper bars happening, but no room for them. There we go. That'll change now. Uh, I will build these. Okay, can use bugs as bait in the fish traps, which is nice. Uh, what else have I got? Apples. Can I plant these again? Maybe not. I'm used in making seeds from crops. I suppose it's just a generic tree seed. Whereas in six days, that's not going to help me, is it? But I don't know what else I can do in short. In such a short time, um, grows in grows in one day. I'm gonna buy some parsnips. There we go. Nine. I assume I have to water those. Now, yeah, when I build. I will need to build a scarecrow. I think. Collect some more grass. There we go. It'll protect the seeds. And I guess I'll end that turn. Here we go. Goldfish. Thank you. Some good stuff here. Right, that I can't pick up. Everything today sells for an extra dollar, so I'll go through and sell some things. 
might not need get that fish and that fish and those fruits now building the fish pickaxe and also a mine So that should help provide some more stones to mine. But I suppose my biggest issue at the moment is that I need to pay rent tomorrow. Maybe I should sell most of this stuff now. Let's have a look at some prices. Parsnip can be $8 or $14. But I'm selling them for $10, so not the maximum value. I think I just need to do it. Yeah, I might be in a little bit of trouble here. Still got one day. Interesting. Beetle hammer. Gives a random alchemy item. That's interesting. Um, could open the swamp. I don't want to spend that money now, though. some parsnip seeds and I've got plenty of energy so maybe being one day is I can where are we just get a little creepy a uh, little cheeky little crop going there we go just going to clear this as well so this is a open space to work in uh, get my seeds down. Get some water. Got a lot of energy to spare. I might as well just work the earth. Get some goodies out of the ground. There we go. I'll be able to sell some of this actually. Should be right, I think. Alright, final day of week one. Get the fish out of there. Get the fish out of here. Pick my crops. So now I can see I've got some stones here. Okay, I like that from the fish axe. Random fish coming out of there as well which will sell for a nice price. There we go, I've made rent. And I can afford a swamp. I think I'm gonna do it. Nice big area, plenty of water. Might as well just start chopping some of these trees. What else can I build? Maybe some more fish traps. All right, leveled up. Unlocks all backpack, backpack space and shop slots. That sounds good. Harvest boost for crops in hive range, but they don't longer accelerate growth. I think collection from a furnace, 20% of the maximum value is granted. All revealed water tiles disappear. Max energy plus two for each tile. That's going to be a lot. I'm going to lose my fish though. I'm going to do it. 285. 525. 
That's ridiculous. So now what? Heaps of energy. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to smelt some more ore and get some more mines down. And I'm going to fill the rest with wood just to keep the coal coming along. And I might stick the next mine in the swamp just to see if there's a difference in what it produces. Being a different biome, I'm not entirely sure. Alright, that's it for the day. Rent is paid. Is there anything else I can do? Locked in demo, locked in demo. That's it. We'll end that turn. Pay the rent. Okay, a new set of traits. Animals give two times. Crops plus 50%. Delivery count plus five. The number of items in each shop slot. Okay. Tools gain one experience for each use. Finishing a building gives five experience. Shop price is minus 10. Uh, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Building requirements minus three. Don't care. Harvest boost equals one. Sure. Sprinklers don't work. Tools don't gain XP. 20% of crops are destroyed. General efficiency negative one. Well, that's fine. Let's just do it that way, I suppose. Get these. So today I get five experiencing, uh, five experience for finishing a building. So let's finish a building, shall we? A loom, a die maker. Turns flowers into dye. Interesting. Can I afford two mines? I can. The bonus experience, get the fish axe out. Lovely. I don't have any more. Although do I at this stage? So looks like it's wood into the furnaces. And get the old axe out and start clearing some of this land again. So $45,000 I need to make for the next week. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. Considering I haven't really got anything that will exponentially grow my capability. One thing I might do is build another furnace or two. Just one, actually. I can't afford two. And I may as well chuck some wood in there as well. For good measure. Um, what else can I do? I guess it's just a matter of doing this to burn up some energy. And uh, I can at least benefit from what I'm digging up, I suppose. In theory. Could sell it all as well, really. Can I build fishing traps off? No. You're at max price, worm, so I'm going to sell all of you. You're at max price, you're gone. You're a minimum, you're staying. You're close to max, you're gone. Sand. I can make glass in these things as well. I guess that's it for this day. Get all this coal out. So tools gain one experience for each use today. Start with the ores. Go. Not a huge amount, is it? But uh, I'll get some sand in there as well to at least get some glass happening. 
And I should be able to afford another furnace. Should. There might be a limit per area, maybe. Wouldn't let me build on that first area. That's fine. We'll do that. So much energy left over, but so little I can actually do. I could get some crops going, really, couldn't I? It's not too late. Should have saved some sprinkler money. There must be a, a build limit, surely. Oh, no, no, it's because I've actually... Um, hoed this ground. Let's go to the shop. What have we got? Beets? Pumpkins? Let's get some pumpkins. I'm keeping them nice and safe in a radius around the scarecrow. Some parsnips as well. There we go. Should have plenty of energy to water all this. My watering can has leveled up. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Ah, oh, can water. Okay, three by one. Reduces the energy of hammer. So I can upgrade things once they've leveled up to copper as well. A honey hoe. Might as well do that. And that. Cost of copper bar, but that's fine. Let's test this. That seems pretty good to me. Can I move these? Yes. Nice. There we go. Um, I don't know what else I can do really except just to do this. Ah, oh, that's interesting. If I hoe the ground and then get it back to normal with the pickaxe I still get the fish out of it so I'm actually generating fish by doing that and if the fish were anywhere close to their maximum price I would be selling them but I won't uh, let's give it another day righto here we go Lots of crops there. Plenty of glass coming out now. Get that fish axe working. Alright, any of these near maximum? They're pretty close. No, I'm not. You are. See ya. as well all right just making some room for some of these definitely want iron and I'll get some gold happening as well which would be nice get a few bits of coal and spend the rest on glass oh, I could be getting clay actually mm, maybe next Good news is I can build another one of these, which would be nice. I can't build another one yet, next turn. So really, because I'm getting goldfish out of this as well, and they can sell for up to $80 a pop, right? 
wonder if this is the best use of my energy when there's not much else going on. We'll see. Ah, oh, except I forgot to water. Um, I can actually eat fish for energy. Maybe I'll eat some cheap ones. How do I? Increases the amount of energy provided by consumables each day. Right. Damn. Didn't think that through properly, but anyway. Alright. Halfway through this week. What's happening here? Good. Um, I guess I'll put some clay in. Actually, no, I shouldn't have done that because I haven't mined all this yet. Need to slow down and think ahead. So we'll just mine all this. And uh, enjoy all the fish we're getting for free while we do it. Oh, here we go. 40% chance to cast another fishing rod for free. Hmm. Don't think that... Does that help everything to do with fish or just by fishing? Fish count plus two. Maybe. Breakable. I don't know. I'll try this. Very hard to tell if it's actually done anything or not, to be honest, but anyway. What can I build? Can I can build more of this now. I need to... Sort that out. There we go. Need to harvest these pumpkins as well. Right, I need to build... Can I build two? No. Can I build a furnace? Yes. Nice. Uh, where are my ores? I can't pick them up. Alright, let's have a look at some uh, prices here. That's close to maximum, actually. Selling those. Might as well sell those as well. A bit of energy left. I'm sure I can do this. There we go. Grab that pumpkin. What's that selling for? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to get some corn as well. Hopefully. There it is. Let's plant that there. Nice. It's about all I can do, so I'm just going to get some more fish for my trouble. Have to sell that. Sell those. I'm gonna sell those. I'm not gonna use them. All right, have to end the day. I've got sixteen and a half thousand. Need forty-five. Don't know my chances there. We'll get rid of these crops first. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
Right. So my hope might be selling gold bars or maybe crafting something out of gold. Should be worth a bit of money, hopefully. How are these looking? Good. No, 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 damn. 178 out of 250, no. I have to sell the glass. Uh, I do have gold ore, so it's going in there. Copper. No coal. Oh, that's dumb. Can I undo that? I think I'll just stuff myself here. I've used up all my coal. And now I can't put wood in there to get more because I need coal to make coal. Oh, that's disappointing. How do we get coal? Can I buy it? Delivery count, shop slots, shop prices, roll price. Adds coal to the shop. Okay, flower seeds, animals, basic ores, diamond ore. $8,000, wow. I think I need to do this. Add coal to the shop, roll. Buy that coal. Use that coal to turn wood into more coal. That's all I can do. Get a bunch of parsnip seeds. Keep them within the scarecrow range. Nice. Uh, do you get that ground? Can build another mine, which would be nice. There we go. Yeah, not sure that fish perk is doing anything extra for me, but still getting lots of fish out of the ground for no apparent reason, which is fine by me. One day these will be worth something, hopefully. Not much else I can do now, so end the turn. Right, last nips, let's go. Sold. Gold. Hmm. We can do better. Bricks worth 45 each. Yeah, you have to go. We can do better. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That I'll sleep on. Alright, time to get mining. What am I on? 29,500 with two days left. I think this fish pickaxe is probably the single-handed reason I'm even close at the moment. These free fish are just ridiculous. Gold ore. Okay. Now, I'm not selling you today. We'll sell you today. We'll sell you today. Hmm. Could buy some coal. A few more ores in. Can I build one of these? 13, yeah, definitely. No coal again. Hopefully that's worth it. 
Now spend the rest of the day mining for fish. So if those goldfish are worth a lot tomorrow, I should be laughing. Fingers crossed anyway. Corn's not ready still, bloody hell. Goldfish worth nearly maximum. Thank you. See you later. See you later. Maximum. See you later. Minimum. Lame. Sell you. Sell you. That's good. That's pretty good as well, actually. Oh, I might make it. I've made it. I've paid rent the second week, $45,000. Seemed un unobtainable early. <laughs> but thanks to my fish, fish axe, we might be making it. Well, we'll definitely make it this week. It's what becomes after that that I'm scared of. So much energy, nothing to use it on. Got plenty of coal now. Might as well do that. What are these? Dig up some more fish. to straight up trading energy for earth fish <laughs> all right let's end this turn there we go ah okay demo is two weeks gotcha okay didn't spend a lot of money Yep, most of my money is a suspected fruit from fish, which is pretty good considering the map had no water in it by the end. And pickaxe used the vast majority of my energy. And there you go, we've won in 41 minutes. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to leave it there. So once again, this was another farm roguelike rebirth. A really interesting take on the roguelike genre with the real farm setting. I know there's been a few like that. This is the first one I've played, but it's quite enjoyable. And uh, yeah, check out the demo. It's on Steam now. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, if this is something you like and want to see more of, please consider subscribing. Helps me out a lot. Keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Cheers.